What's up guys, welcome back. So today I thought I would test out brand new stuff that I have hauled and it's I'm doing it a little different. Usually I haul the stuff first, then I film this, but we're doing it in reverse. I'm gonna haul this stuff later and I'm gonna show it first. <laughs> Don't know the science behind that one, but here we go. First thing before I get into the video, I wanted to tell you guys that I have uploaded brand new stuff to my Poshmark closet. If you don't want, if you don't know what Poshmark is, it's like a place where you can like trade, buy, and sell like gently used or new things. So I have clothes. I'm gonna be uploading jewelry. I have a bunch of makeup and foundations that didn't work out at pretty decent prices. So check it out. I will put that link below. Check it out, sign up, print out the label. There's like no guesswork to it. They kind of do everything for you. <laughs> I'm inherently lazy. So that's why I like using Poshmark. It's just really easy. So I'll put that link below, check it out. I'm going to also add more stuff. So just check back per periodically every day because I'm just going to be uploading the shit out of it. I wanna get into what I test out. This is so weird because it's like, you've never seen these products before, <laughs> but that's okay. Thing is this really cool, um, it's a Radiance resurfacing foam from Dr. Brand. I kinda like, I'm kinda digging it. It's, uh, it's, an, it's a gentle way to, it's kind of like a gentler way to make your skin glow and hydrate and resurface it. So, um, this is what it looks like and basically i'm gonna throw it on and you're gonna wait for it to film so you put it on clean skin i've already done this and it just kind of foams up and it's really hydrating and glowy like your skin literally glows and you just leave it on for about a minute or so. It almost has kind of like that tingling sensation, not tingly, but just foaming sensation. So you wait for like a minute for it to really get foamy and just, it's a little patchy, that's okay, this area. After a minute, you wanna take this tool and then in upward motions, you're gonna scrape off the foam. And then I'm gonna do it on this side. And then afterwards, you just wanna take the rest of what's left on your face and um, smooth it into your skin. And it actually feels really nice. It leaves your skin very moisturized and dewy and fresh. Just throw on some moisturizer. You could probably, if you have oily skin, you could probably leave this on as your moisturizer. I think it would do fine. Um, but I'm just gonna do a little bit extra because I did a peel, a face peel, and my skin's super dry. But then I guess I, um, I'm gonna start out with the eyes and I'm gonna use this NARS Skin Deep Palette um, Primer Potion. This is the Eden Primer Potion. I really like this. I feel like it cancels out um, all the discolorations on my eye and I really feel like the colors look more true to colors. Okay, so this NARS Skin Deep Palette. I'm gonna use this shade. I'm just probably gonna go warm like always. I'm gonna use this shade right here. They're using the new formulation. Oh yes, blends out very nicely. So I'm just really blending that out, which I'm probably <laughs> going to, I'll probably just fast forward this part so you guys don't have to sit here and watch it, but. The outer part and lower lash line, I'm just gonna use this really fun shade in Whipped. It's, I hope that's the right way, unless that's undressed. I'm just gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna put that on just a little bit on my outer part. I'm gonna go with this shade and these two shades. So I'm gonna take this all over the lid and then pop that in the middle of the lid. These metallic shades are very pigmented. So you don't have, it doesn't take a lot of work.
I'm just gonna flip that brush around and then I'm gonna take that other shade, the lighter one, <clears throat> and just pop that right in the center. And then I'm gonna take this Trooper Black. Is that how you say it, Trooper? This is like my favorite, favorite liner. I don't know where it's been all my life, but I'm just gonna do a line and here we go. I feel bad, I feel like all the looks that I do are kind of the same. All right, I'm just gonna take that first shade that I did in the crease and apply that to my lower lash line. Curl the lashes. But I'm just gonna use this Better Than Sex Mascara. It's, I know everybody loves this. I just, I'm having a hard time trying to get any mascara to work right now. I'm doing Latisse and I don't know. Okay, so then I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil. All right, the brows are a little thick today. Ain't no thing. This is about as even as they're gonna get. So let's do the Pores No More from Dr. Brandt. I love this primer for concealing and mattifying. I think that like, I don't know, I just think it's like one of the best. I just feel like any type of foundation looks really, really good on top. Since we're sticking with primer, I wanna try out this Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Uh, it's supposed to just make your under eyes look 10 times better with concealer, so. I don't know, let's see. And then I'm just gonna use this Fenty, this new Fenty concealer brush. Ooh, that's really nice. It just sinks right in. That's really nice. It feels really hydrating, duh. But it like, and it just feels like it sinks right in. I don't know, I think I'm gonna like this. Okay, so I've been dying to try this, the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. So I have like a love-hate relationship with her foundations, I really do. And when I tried this on in the store, I really liked the way that my skin looked before I went to go work out. So in the haul, you're gonna see me haul a different color that was way too light. The lighting is just terrible in those places. So I went back and I exchanged it for cashew, which is two and one. I think I hauled ivory and that was literally way too yellow and too light. So this I think will be a different match. I usually, neutrals are a safe bet. A little bit better. So this, I don't know, I think that this is gonna be really pretty. It got really good reviews. So. Oh, I definitely think that this is a better match. So far it's going on really nicely. Um, I don't see no, see this is the problem that I have with her foundations is that I feel like if I use like a million primers, it still sinks into my pores. I don't know. I mean, I like the way it looked on the outside. Maybe it's just this lighting. Well, maybe, maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. I can't give it a good, like, I mean, I will. I just feel like it really accentuates right here. Is that because it's like a luminous foundation? I don't think a, I definitely don't think a, another way to apply it would be any better. But I don't, 
I mean, I don't hate it because I know what it looks like in real light. I, I really liked the way that it looks, so it could just be my lighting. And I mean, this lighting ac accentuates everything. So that's about as good as like I would apply it. Let's just do the rest of my face, I don't know. Um, I wanna do concealer first, so I'm gonna try out the Fenty concealer. I got the shade 170, this is the Pro Concealer. And, um, oh, it goes on really nice. I almost, damn, it feels like butter. That was so nice. That application was like, felt like you were a massage. Like it, that was really nice. So I'm gonna again take the concealer brush from Fenty and we're just going to tap this in. Okay, I'm not loving this brush for concealer. So I'm just gonna go and use this. I feel like it's gonna take me 10 years to blend it out. But I do love the concealer. I think that that is really nice. And I like that under eye primer a little bit better. I think that makes it better. The primer does. I'm not, I don't love this brush. Uh, I don't love this. You can pass on that one. But um, I'm just gonna get a little bit more right here. I do like the concealer. I feel like uh, it's a very smooth, smoothing concealer for under the eyes, for sure. Putting a little bit more because I got those dark circles. But I do, I like that concealer a lot. Okay, the Fenty powder. Well, I got butter. It tells you which shade to use for what foundation you are. I'm like 170, 190, and um, I wanted to trust, test this out with the new brush that it came comes with. So the butter shade is a very, is more of like a cream color. Um, the one, the one lighter is lavender, and I think that would be too light. The one shade darker is too yellow. So I'm gonna take this Fenty powder brush and apply it under my eyes. Ooh. Ooh, I like this powder though. It's like kind of um, smoothing at the same time. Oh, I put way too much powder on my face. I'm just letting you know. I would never normally do that, but I wanted to get the gist of it. I actually, I like it. It's very light and um, it blends out really nicely. The concealer brush, I'll probably use it for bronzer as well because I feel like that's a nice size for a bronzer brush. Um, but I like the concealer and I really like the powder. I feel like it did a good job. Uh, still on the fence about the foundation. For bronzer, I'm just, I'm gonna use this one because it's right in front of me from Hourglass. It's this one from the Unlocked palette and I'm gonna use this Fenty brush. I'm gonna see how this applies bronzer. I just love this palette. I wish I wish companies didn't make things so limited. <sighs> then, so then I'm gonna try out these new Buxom Primer Infused Blushes, and I'm gonna do Setchelles. Setchelles. It's their. It's the bronzer shade. This is a really, really pretty blush. I just put on way too much, but that is gorgeous. It's really pigmented and it goes on super nice. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and um, just kind of buff that out because I just did way too much, but it's really pretty. I like that a lot. Bite lipstick, these are like the metallic ones. And this one is in Rose Glossé. This one's kind of like metallic-y. That smells so good. Mm. 
really pretty. I like this color a lot. Okay, so overall, I liked pretty much everything except for this concealer brush I didn't care for. I don't know about the foundation. Oh, let me set my face. Hold on. I always forget to do this. I like the powder. I really love the concealer. Um, I'm digging this brush as well. And yeah, pretty much everything I think is a home run. I will let you guys know about this foundation. Uh, I just have to see how it lasts all day and I'll just update you later in a video. Like I said, it's hit or miss with her foundations and my skin. I don't know. But um, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll see you guys next time.